how can we determine the mass of a black hole? First, we need to know how far away it is. This is the Very Long Baseline Array, a network of telescopes spread across the United States. To measure distances, our telescopes hitch a ride on planet Earth as it moves around the Sun. Relative to distant galaxies, nearby stars appear to move back and forth as we see them from different vantage points. We can work out a star's distance from how much it appears to move. Our target is the first confirmed black hole, Cygnus X1. It was thought this system hosted a black hole 15 times the mass of the Sun. The black hole feeds from the wind of a giant star that is slightly more massive. New observations show the black hole is 20% further away from Earth than we originally thought, placing it over 7,000 light years away from us. This also means the black hole is much more massive than we thought, weighing in at 21 times the mass of the Sun. Its supergiant companion star is 22 times the size of the Sun. They orbit each other every 5.6 days. The wind of the supergiant star absorbs radio waves from the high-speed jets that are powered by the black hole. Understanding this and factoring it into our calculations allowed us to improve the distance and hence the mass measurement. For such a massive black hole to exist, the star from which it formed must have lost less mass in winds over its lifetime than we expected. Studying black holes like Cygnus X1 can tell us about the lives and deaths of the most massive stars in the universe.